Hey guys, we're here at the Metro of Kochi. They got a nice Metro line going all the way down this road. So we're gonna check it out. It seems like there's some pride here about this Metro. It seems really nice. So we're gonna see what it's like. We went to Bangalore, which is also one of the nicest metros in India, I believe, and that one's really nice. So, how can Kochi compare? In today's video, we're going to Lulu Mall, which is supposed to be like the insane modern mall of Kerala. So that's gonna be pretty sick. Are you ready for that? I don't think I'm ready. Where, who is Lulu and where is their mall? Lulu, help us, please. Lululemon? The, yeah. The clothing brand? Yeah, let's hitch a ride. Kochi is just so much longer than we expected it to be. Like from the airport to MJ Road is so far. And this Metro line went pretty close to the airport. Not all the way, but pretty close. So this is a long line. I'm curious how long it's gonna take us to get to Lulu. Let's check it out and see how much it costs. What's the closest station to the Lulu Mall? Minapoli. Minapoli? Oh. Okay. Can we get two? Big two or fifty. Sixty four. Oh no. No. Oh. Thank you. Right. But we're number one. Number one? Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Metro boarded. It's like a QR code, which is interesting. Never seen this before. No coins. No coins. The lady working was very friendly. She actually told us what platform to go to, which is very, very helpful, and told us what station Lulu Mall is. It's Adapali. 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 Oh yeah, shoot. Adapali. Adapali. And we're in the Maharajas College right now. You are fantastic at pronouncing Indian names. Call me Indian. Wow, wow. We're going towards the toilets. We gotta go up again. It's a pretty sturdy station. I mean, look at this thing. It's thick. Wow, that's like the end. Where are these dotted lines? I don't know. Water Metro. Huh? That's not. Oh no. Huh? Future, future metro. Oh, so they're just gonna continue it and then also add this one. That will be really nice, actually. Yeah. And then the water metro goes all over. It'd be interesting to ride some of those boats. Tomorrow, we'll probably go down to here, get on this boat to Fort Kochi. Wait, we're literally at the last stop. Yeah, we, we went all the way down. Wow. <laughs> they're advertising some sort of zoo or wildlife park here. They got a fracking jaguar. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we have the, it goes on the left side. Fancy, huh? Oh yeah, true. Wait, but there's two ways. What's the other way go to? Oh, there is some more, it looks like. What the heck is this? It's just a lone elephant. What the heck? That's quite the elephant trick. If I could see that in real life, that would be sick and nasty, dude. <laughs> that that baby it? would be dead for sure. Just kidding, I'm not gonna ride it. We're gonna get kicked out of the train station. <gasps> It's really high. We need to go up three stories. The station building is massive and it's pretty nice and clean. Very, very wide. I wonder if this ever gets like super, super busy. Well, you think right now would make it super, super busy. It's like rush hour right now. Oh, they're playing cricket on the basketball court. Oh, wow. He just chucked it. It's gonna be great for your shoulder, right? Awful. Throwing up baseball is bad for your shoulder. I mean, maybe actually that's better because it's just a full rotation. You don't like bend your... Yeah, it's more of a natural movement. Yeah. Hopefully we don't get on the women's one accidentally, but you never know. There's a guy to our right and to our left. That's always a good sign. Hey, that's the one thing. We always know that there's women trains in different places, like Dubai has them, India has them. We never know where they are. It's scary. And then sometimes you get on and then it's just all women and you're like, oh, shoot. Where did we get on last time? I remember we got on. I think on. there was one, we got on, it was all women, but it was fine. There, there was like a few guys, actually. Or we'll get off and we'll just instantly be arrested. It's like, you're not a woman. Oh, and like, do you know who I am, sir? I mean, we were just in China where the metros would come like every two minutes. Here, it seems like there's a good like five minutes between each one. Look at that. That is fancy. Never seen that before. Yeah. Have 12 of them. Very nice. Probably placed in this section only. Seems like. If you are like me or this guy over to your left and you are above the height of maybe like, I guess if you're like two inches taller than me, you might have a be some issues on this metro. But it's really nice and quiet. It's really nice and quiet in here. Yeah, it's hard to speak. Yeah, I don't want to disturb the silence. Which is surprising because a lot of times in India, like, people 
play their videos out loud, but no one's doing that really here. We're doing vlog deception right now. Okay. Well, it feels weird. This is, it's like surfing. All right, whoever falls over first. We're subway surfers. <gasps> Seriously? Please stand away from the doors. Look at that. Oh my gosh, do you see that logo? Barbecue Nation? Oh my gosh, is that the Indian Groot right there? Oh my gosh, Indian Groot. That's insane. Where's the Indian Avengers? I gotta say, pretty impressed by that Metro. It was a smooth it, ride, it was quick. Had a talking thing that would tell you like, we're here. It's nice to have the electronic screen. I always like the electronic screen because you can actually see which station you're at. Sometimes if it's just the like flat screen, it's nice because it doesn't change constantly, but then you don't remember which one you're at yeah. if you missed the announcement. I hate when they have like, I mean, obviously it's, it's only a thing for us, but when the it does the language of the country we're in for like five slides in a row and you're like, yeah. where the heck are we? Yeah. Where the heck are we? The, sl the sl train is slowly stopping <laughs> as, you, as you get to the stop and you're like, oh no, oh no. <laughs> That was a pretty good experience. That's a very, very nice metro. I mean, especially for India. I mean, most of the cities here don't have a metro like that, I'm pretty sure. So it's pretty cool that Kochi is like one of the, the pioneers of the Indian metro. It's pretty cool that Kochi's got McDonald's too. Holy, it's another ice cream thing. More indulgent Sundays. I gotta try one of those dip tones one of these times. And this station, I mean, brings you right next to Lulu Mall. Oh, it actually connects. Oh, and look at it, it's a, it's a train car. The bridge is a train car. Yeah, it's not an actual train car, but it's designed like a train car. That's very cute. Now we're gonna hook on through here and we will show you the Lulu Mall, which people say is the modern mall of India. World class to international standards, according to Google reviews. There was like a 200 reviews that said international standards. And then you have a nice greenery right in the middle. Blue hypermarket. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Recycle. Yeah, it's epic. You either need the reusable coins or just recycle the cards. Fancy. Let's go. Oh my gosh. We're on a train car to the future. It's like we never even got to the metro. <laughs> it's really thick. <laughs> this is reminding me of like the walkway to the Dubai Mall. It also reminds me of the walkway in Macau when we were going to the Paris uh, It's pretty cool. Wowzers. Ramadan Kareem. Guys, it's yeah. Ramadan. Did you know we were in <gasps> we were in Dubai for Ramadan? What? <gasps> oh my gosh! We gotta go. Huh? Oh no, camera. No. Wow, guys, look at this track. Surprise, surprise. Right when we get in here, we're about to do an epic Shrek meme and uh, we get told not to film in a mall that so many other vloggers have filmed in. So I guess we're just gonna be giving you small little updates in corners of the mall. It's so annoying, it happens to us every time. We'll see vloggers vlogging on metros, on MRTs, in malls, and then we'll go there, vlog, and they'll be like, no, 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 no filming, no filming, no filming. And then um, here we are. Every time people will vlog going up to the check-in counter of airports and then we are filming it they're like no 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 filming they have us delete the footage in front of them yeah i don't know why us always we always say this in the philippines different guards different rules we walked into a mall earlier in our trip filming and no one cared in that mall so we're gonna check it out uh it might make this video a lot shorter though we won't try and let it spoil our experience no no it's a very big mall so far it kind of reminds me of mall of america it is kind of where like that. it's a nicer newer version of it but it's kind of just like these small little walkways and like different sort of sections without an amusement park they have like an amusement area but i wouldn't call it an amusement park by any means so we'll see what that looks like hopefully hopefully what is lulu the new title of this video is what is lulu malls hiding if they're telling us not to film there's got to be a reason what is that reason what are they hiding in here is there some big money laundering scheme hmm. look at this what the heck this is cool oh that's a fancy kfc <laughs> it's gotta be the fanciest kfc we've ever seen Self-order station, always nice. Holy nuts. KFC Hall in India, I'm down to clown, baby. Oh my gosh, the horse ride. Well, it's not only in the Philippines like our title said. <laughs> wow, what a cool area. Lulu Mall stepping it up. They have a jet thing. They have a Barrett 50 cow game. Oh my gosh, those seem epic. 
That's sick. I might need to try some of these. Oh wow, look at these. These are cool. That's a VR one. Sorry if the camera's a lot shakier now. We're not, we're using my phone because it seems like if you're on your phone, they won't notice as much. Just if you're wondering why the camera's so much shakier. Interesting. That's a Scooby-Doo themed wheel game. Oh. Wow, that is quite the arcade. A Nerf themed arcade game? It's Nerf or nothing. Exactly. Whoa, that's a huge one. Mission Impossible Arcade. Yeah. You get to pick it up or is it just all the way down here? When you have nothing to do at your work, sit inside of a bumper car. It's very romantic. That is romantic. Just hanging out with your bud with your arm around him in a bumper car. Dude, relax. Relax, dude. Come on. We have a whole amusement park in this place. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, not too many people in it right now, but... No. Where the heck is everybody? You can walk under it. That's, like, scary how close that is. It must go really slow. Yeah, because I'm mean, right here. I could... It must go really slow. Wow. This is interesting. This is like a kid's amusement park in here. This looks kind of legit. Oh, it's time to test your strength, sir. Is this one of the ones that's like, it's not about strength, it's about luck. <laughs> Summoning all strength. That's the only thing I do. Across from the amusement park is a big old food court and they have ice skating. Now that's pretty schnazzer if I do say so myself or self oh. Barbecue Nation, baby. We're at the old Barbecue Nation. Heck yeah. Right when it's open. Oh, I can feel the heat from this. We have a full video of this place. It's not the best quality video, but we do have one of us trying everything. So you can check that out. This will just be like us eating what we want, montage, and it's going to be pretty epic. So far, typical Barbecue Nation service. Very, very friendly. Fantastic. We got a welcome drink. Oh, it's Ooh. like a rose. Rose? Yeah. Yeah. Very aromatic and smooth. It's pretty tasty. Let's, I feel welcomed. Let's fill ourselves all the way up. Wait, you don't want to fill us too far because we have something special after this. Are we going to do something futuristic? Something in four dimensions? Something that's probably going to hurt our eyes? Yeah. We'll see. As long as we don't get diarrhea. To no diarrhea. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. That's the best stuff in the game. Ooh, that's hot. It's crispy fracking corn. Not for you. It's so good. Why? I don't know. It's like a better version of popcorn. I forgot what the heck this was. Spicy potato. That's good. It's like a, it's like spicy mayo sauce. Ah. It's yummy. Thank you. Look at we're barbecue nation pros. I know what I'm doing. I'm scared I'm gonna to touch my hand on this stupid thing. Thank you. We also did a video in follow and bar trying Barbecue Nation before if you wanna check out that one too. We like Barbecue Nation. <laughs> it's delicious. Whenever we see it, we're like, ooh, that would be good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Already getting loaded up on the appetizers. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. This was 880 rupees each. About $10. Yeah, about the same as last time. We saw some like Ramadan deal, but we don't know what it was. Maybe it was for lunch or something. Yogurt filled cracker, I believe. Ooh. Mm. It's like lossy on the oh, inside. Oh, really? Oh, whoa. Spicy. Everything's gotta be spicy. And then cilantro, oh. which I don't like. Interesting. The cilantro tastes weird to me. It was really good at first. The lossy just squirts everywhere like the yogurt, and then you get spice, and then cilantro. That's an interesting array of flavors. Is this a paneer, sir? We got dished up already with some more corn. I don't know how they do it, but all the waiters in the are so good with the fork spoon scooping combo. They don't even use forks for food most of the time. The heck? Paneer. Such an interesting cheese. There's really no cheese like that. It almost has like a tofu consistency, but then it has a slight cheesiness, but this has more of the grill taste on it, because these are getting like, grilled up, maybe. Thank you. Okay. All right, perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. Wow, that's a lot. Yum, yum, yum. We gotta get some of these off. These pineapples are probably gonna be charred. Wow, look at this corn, how much sauce it has on there. It's like some sort of like curry sauce on it. It's good. It looks really soft, the corn. It is. 
falls right off. What do they do to this corn? This is one of the best parts of Barbecue Nation, just the shrimp. As people who typically don't eat seafood as much, I remember last time we liked the fish and the shrimp way more than we liked the chicken. Fishy boy. Ooh. I think so, I don't know. It kind of looks the same as the chicken, but definitely fish. Wow. Interesting sauce. I don't know what the heck this is. But I like it. Whoa, that is so sweet. Wow, like a hard candy, but it's soft and covered in sugar. Look at that, it's straight syrup. It's not even moving. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, I got some biryani. Good. I forgot. good. Biryani is always delicious. Even if it's a buffet biryani. Are these Jalob Jamon? Is this Jalob Jamon? Jalob Jamon? Oh. <laughs> That's a reference to our Barbecue Nation video last time. Go check it out. We didn't know it was called Gulab Jamon. No. Oh, the ice cream's soft. Really sweet ice cream. Less creamy, really sweet. And then I'll eat a Jalob Jamon really quick. Oh, warm and delicious. And now, the key. This is how you make your Jalob Jamons the best they can possibly be. Oh, yeah. And if you think this is illegal in every state in India, I just made it legal. Ban us. It's the greatest, I am the Senate. It's the greatest thing I've ever eaten in my life. It's so good. You don't even know until you try it. Don't knock it until you try it, bro. Oh, it's so dang good. Thank you to those random people in Bangalore who are doing this. Showed us the true way of eating Jawab Jamon. <laughs> this might trigger somebody. Yeah, night guard, until it's time to film, is gonna come back for you. And murder, execute me. Yeah. You got some curry, sir. I got a curry overload this time. We got fish curry, butter paneer, and pasta. Butter paneer. They had this at Empire Restaurant, connected to our hotel in Bangalore, and it was delicious. Mmm, delicious here as well. Pasta. Some butter, paneer, or chicken, and then like the pasta. Amazing. I'm sure of this fish one because it had like a massive pepper inside of it. <laughs> so just. It has a lot more vegetables in it, it seems like. But it's still very rich. Delicious. Wow, wasn't that a delicious BBQ nay she just had there, pal? It was fracking delicious, dude. Crispy corn? Mm. Prawns? Mm. The service? <clears throat> it took a little while for us to get our bill, actually. Yeah, the people were really nice, but yeah, sometimes we'd request things and then, or they would ask, like, do you want any of this? And then we'd uh, say something. Another person would come and ask the same thing, and then we'd say the same thing. And then it still just, like, wouldn't come, even though they asked us. Like, I wouldn't, I didn't really need whatever we asked for, but yeah. They kind of pressured us to buy drinks, so I was like, okay, I'll just buy one. And then it just never came. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was a delicious experience. It's such good food, and... We've been there three times now, and every time it's just so good. And then we had to take a quick stop back at the hotel to let that barbecue nation fall out of our stomachs. Unfortunately, in India, our stomachs cannot handle the uh, spices and all this stuff. So yeah, we came all the way back, took a Dukaria. On the way back, had the MRT again. The, the people here are so friendly. I mean, we were just on the MRT, and some people walked up and started talking to us. We learned a bit about them. Yeah, friendly guys. So basically, we were about 15 minutes from Lulu Mall, and we booked a movie before we went to Barbecue Nation because we thought we'd just wait in the mall yet. No, no. Stomachs had a different plan for us. So we came back, probably were here about an hour, went back. It's about a 15 minute on the MRT. And then we went to a 40X movie. We went up to the movie theater and we wanted just to see what they showed. They didn't really show any Indian movies we had heard of out in theaters. Like we just missed Animal, which came out not too long ago Dang and you know, stuff like that. But we noticed the 40X sign there and we're like, wait, they have a 40 theater in here. So we decided to watch the movie that was on there, which was Dune Part 2. It was only 200 rupees a ticket, which is still insane to me. Less than 200 because it was dang like, it was like 360. 
That's so crazy. For a special ticket too, on a sold, basically sold out movie. Wow, I mean, so we showed up, I mean, the mall was closing down when we got there. Hey guys, look at my feet. Uh, we're going to see a freaking movie in India again, a 4D theater. We're running very, very late. The cinema sign. We got caught behind in a metro. We were like 30 seconds off making it. And then it took 12 minutes for the next one to arrive. Sad. Which we still would have been late a little bit, but not bad. This is a really fancy movie theater. Hopefully we can show you guys some of the inside. Our audio is so much worse now because we're using only my phone because they'll confiscate your cameras. We noticed they pat you down when you enter. So here we go. Theater was really nice. It uh, was really golden. There was a ton of concessions. You get anything you wanted at concessions, but unfortunately for us, we had the barbecue nation still in the stum. So we just stuck with the basic popcorn and a Pepsi. Then we headed into the dark theater because the movie already started because we were a bit late. Get into the seats. They're, they're, they're like these very upright seats, but they, they got a little bar, kind of like a roller coaster. Not like a cool bar, but like for your feet, so you can prop your feet up. Can you imagine that if you got into a movie and then <laughs> you'd be like, what is this? <laughs> we unfortunately had the front row, because I guess even if you book four hours in advance, it was already sold out, so it must be a popular thing. For like this whole time? Oh my gosh. <laughs> But the things that the 4D theater did were very interesting. The main thing it did was move around it during action scenes. Not even action scenes, uh, when there was like weird like scenes sometimes when there, people were like talking or looking at each other, it would go. You get a nice pat on the back. And boom, boom. Smoke would come out randomly. We watched Dune, so when they would it was like, sandy. Yeah, they'd ride through the sand on the worms or whatever, right? Smoke would come out for the sand, and then it would like shoot water for some reason, even though it was sand. And the whole kind of point of the planet that they're on is that it has very little water. They could just ride around in the sand and the water will produce. <laughs> yeah, they even had like confetti, like it was supposed to be ashes falling from the ceiling too, which is pretty cool. But overall, it was just, I mean, it gives another element to a movie where you're not just, if you're falling asleep during the movie, it's gonna wake you freaking back up. Wow, a movie. That's very cool. We'll tell you more about the movie in a second. It was full. And then to talk about the movie itself, Dune Part 2. The first thing I said when it ended was, that is the strangest movie I've ever seen. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. I thought it was a very, very good movie. There wasn't too many moments where there was like a situation in the movie where you're like, oh, that's cheesy. And then it takes your immersion out. You're able to just kind of sit and enjoy the movie. Yes. Not have to be like waiting for some slapstick joke to slap you or... Are you dissing Marvel? No. Don't diss Marvel. Sorry, Captain Marvel is a Legend. Yeah, it's a very, very good movie. I would recommend you go watch it, but you definitely have to watch the first one first. If you enjoy sci-fi, yes. It was, it's a really cool movie. The action is pretty cool. The effects were really cool. The acting was really good. Overall, really good story. It's just very, very strange. It's like, it almost pushes the boundaries with its strangeness where I could see some people, like somebody that's not necessarily a sci-fi fan, if they wanted to see a very popular movie, they would watch it and they'd be like, ah, uh, this is really weird. It's like the pinnacle of sci-fi, but shot very cinematically, I would yeah. say. The director is like a very like cinematic director. Like I'm pretty sure some of his movies have been nominated for Oscars and his cinematography, I believe it's the guy who directed The Arrival. Oh uh, yeah, it is, it is. So that is like one that was up for awards a while ago and he's a big sci-fi director and all about cinematography and that type of stuff. It's in this movie a lot and uh, he was definitely the right guy for the, this type of movie. It was good. We would recommend it. Go watch it. But yeah, that's another day in India. We uh, went to a super modern mall, rode a nice MRT, and saw a fracking futuristic movie. Although we didn't get any of it on camera, 
because we got fracking told not to film and then decided not to bring our GoPro because we couldn't film in the mall. Anyways, we did meet a lot of friendly people again in this video, so it's very epic, warm welcome in Kerala here. Our taxi driver on the way back recommended we go to Munar. Maybe, we'll, we'll see what happens. We, I, I don't know what our plan we is. We probably don't have enough time for that no. one this time around, but maybe next time. So let us know if we need to come back and go there, or maybe we'll just head there and just spend a lot of time on a bus one day. Oh. Thanks for watching everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow for another epic adventure in Kochi. It's time to duke some more. And sleep. What?